Welcome, how are you doing? Medical is in London for his show at the O2 Indigo. Indigo. Wow, O2 Indigo. O2 Indigo. And he has made a stop at the High Commissioner of Ghana to the UK, Mr. Papa Nkoma. And they've taken some pictures, you know, out there. And I see that a lot of celebrities, when they go out there, they make it as part of their itinerary to go and visit him and then show some love and appreciation and i hope it is retained because usually i see creatives go out there going to show their respect and in as much as he is the authority figure or the governing body of Ghanaians out there i i also hope that he sees it as an opportunity to help these creatives especially when they are coming to the uk some of the difficulties they face that kind of thing i hope that there is something he's also doing or something that he gives them to also ease their stay there and to also ensure that coming there is worth the while so I'm quite excited and I know that for whatever reason they keep going there, they get the benefits of going to see him. So I want to say a big thank you to him and for his, you know, constantly welcoming our creatives whenever they come over. Celestine Donko is saying something about his, her soul and body enhancements. She was asked in an interview with Dorian Avio on hits that if, you know, she had like the money, the financial wherewithal, is she going to, you know, consider body enhancement and she said oh nah even if she has like 50k or 40k she's she's going to invest that in her soul and that kind of thing you know she's a preacher woman so of course she will pick the soul over the body and to her she feels like once the soul is edified there's more the soul lives on than just the body that will rot and i'm saying hey christopher anything that god they give for free christopher wants to buy why do you want to buy your soul hey, getting edified use the money for something else or to enhance your nice body or to do something dope and the fact that your body is enhanced doesn't mean your soul will go to hell or your soul will perish you can enhance the body nice at the same time edify your soul because mind you you don't need fifty thousand ghana cities to edify your soul that one is for it's for free everything that has to be done with that act is for free unless you are telling me that you are going to use the 50,000 to do something charitable or to do something for the Lord. In that way, it edifies your soul or to win more souls for the Christ. That I agree. But body enhancement, yeah, it doesn't mean the opposite of body enhancement is soul denigration. So I, I, I don't see the correlation there. Well, that is her choice. She's saying that she would prefer to use the money to edify her. So by, I'm saying that like salvation, soul edification is not as expensive either it is free it is free unless of course it's to edify others so then i agree but body enhancements can cry crystal some can cry nyami some can cry winning souls can cry beauty can cry talk can cry helps can cry all these good things has to be shown in the house of the lord and i also really <laughs> Kofi Kenata is saying something about Ghanaians and that Ghanaians love political parties than the well-being of the country and that is true unless you are trying to also front and you don't know what happens in ghana in fact this post that i've made somebody will come and comment something very silly politically and that is the same way if i just want it's not just the average Ghanaian, it is in our leadership and down to the average woman selling things on the street at the end of Serena, they have to look at it and see what can we do to ensure that whether it is this party or this leadership or it is whoever that is making the country go to hell we can hold them responsible they will not because then it goes against their party colors but it is they don't care about how the people in the country are actually feeling it even goes to talk about doing so doing so is happening but there's a group of people because it is their party that is in power and if they say the truth that doing so is happening it will go against their party colors so they would rather deny that the people in ghana are struggling because they have to score political points and that is that has been the bane of every Ghanaian here in this country say so we care about the politics which is supposed to be a subset looking for the well-being of the general that one has become more important than the well-being of the general and to me it's a sad thing to, to see the average person that is struggling every day every time also told that same thing you can see said as i keep saying our leaders they are just a reflection of who we are as a people we would rather want to be allegiant to the parties than actually our well-being as a country and to me kofi kenata speaking the truth is something that i, I think it's, a, it's been it's been long coming and you will see this december as we enter the political season you see all of them Ch chasing political colors, knowing past that these people, their promises, they will not achieve 
even one 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 twentieth of it but they will still do it because they are leading to their political colors than the country's well-being now um i'll talk about another thing about fikinata but black sheriff is trending with his robotic fashion and people are saying hey black sheriff abroso 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 i'm saying hey, abroso yeah, this is just the beginning where you are saying then i'm on this guy that he face look like a Sudanese, a Sudanese fashion model. No, you think he was joking? I really like the way he has taken it to the next level, avant-garde, eh, robotics. <laughs> side so like uh, the next phase of fashion they like uh, ai kind of uh, like uh, it looks like uh, a representation of what ai and fashion will meet and look like in the future and i'm quite excited for that one and listen any brand that wants to do the you know the very scientific ai form of fashion in the future you have your model he knows how to pose well look at the kick he was wearing and the fit and everything he looks like something that appeared from mass but he looks stunning and to me i like the way he's daring with his fashion charlie do the needful music and being a creative it goes beyond just the music charlie he's exploring another sector that makes me quite excited for the brand black sheriff now um I think Shatawali went to jail for absolutely no reason because we remember very well the circumstances that led to Shatawali being in jail at Anchor 4 and it looks like in as much as he was punished for saying that he's or for saying that he was shot or he's for causing what is called panic and fear in the system i think the reason and the um the directive that was given in order to curtail whatever happened or triggered his action is still happening and for some funny reason the Ghana police is sitting pretty and not addressing the issue. There is, is another video that has surfaced of um, a certain prophet or a pastor speaking about Kufi Kinata, saying that Kufi Kinata, if he's not prayed for or if he's not spoken to, he's going to get attacked and he's going to lose his life prematurely, which means this is another doom prophecy. And as far as I know, the police, the IGP, after Shatawale's incident and putting him in jail, there was a directive to curtail all of these kind of conversations. But I haven't seen the Ghana police take any initiative. We've seen the Koda one that has happened. We've seen another one with Kofi Kinata. So what was the essence of putting Kofi Kin um, Shatawale in jail, if really? All of this was to ensure that there wasn't panic and, and fear in the system. What this man is doing is also putting panic and fear in the system. How do you think a Kofi Kinata fan will feel? How do you think Kofi Kinata himself feels? How do you think the family members of Kofi Kinata feel? Or do you think it's, it's because it hasn't become a national issue that we are discussing on all of over all over the platform, like the way Shatawale's fake death scare was? But this is something that the Ghana police said should be curtailed so how come it is still happening and the Ghana police is not doing anything just look like they use Shatawale for a scapegoat and to me that is not fair at all because if really he has seen something call him invite him ask him questions what did he see how can he be prevented now maybe channel for a purpose so don't let us sit and act like oh it's just a prophecy he's a person did a day a person did a day and there's something happen to the gentleman because if it happens I'll be, I'll be very very sad so let us not treat it like it's a light thing no Police should call the man of God, whichever thing that you saw. Let's see how we can solve the issue so that, and then let's look at how come you were able to say it in public for it to come out that fear and panic factor that somebody went to jail for. I am hoping that it will be resolved. And so I just hope that this thing will be resolved and you won't wake up one day because we are trying to say, oh, the prophet is a fake, is this, he wants hype and things. So the actual message of what he was saying will be neglected please Ghana police come in Kofi Kinata's family to whatever you can do let's protect our talents don't let them die off because we are trying to prove that a certain prophet is fake no let's not do that however let's ensure that whichever laws that has been laid the guidelines for the prophets who will be followed and the Ghana police will ensure that they are doing the right thing else putting someone like Shatawale in jail for that purpose will be a very 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 sorry to say wasteful thing that you did to the artist so those are some of the stories that have been trending. Do subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon, and if there's anything you have to do, do it now. Has to I'm talking fast because I'm afraid the lights will go off when I'm talking. So bye bye. <laughs>